welcome to the Engine Royalty Studio live at European Utility Week. I'm Rose Bondock and I'm joined now by Anna Dominguez, Vice President of Global Utilities and Global Communications at CGI. Anna, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me here. You recently launched the Global 1000 Outlook and I just wanted if you could tell us a few of the headline findings from that report. Well, first what we have noticed is a major shift in the interest around digital transformation. It has always been there, but in the survey this year is high in the top of uh, the trends, business priorities and IT priorities. Then another big change is the business priority around optimizing the business just went off the roof. It's mm -hmm. now top one priority for all our clients and, and specifically in North America then, it's 100% for all the, all the respondents, number one. And, uh, and then when it comes to IT priorities, there is a much more uh, agreement around, uh, around across our clients around which those two should be. IT modernization and becoming a digital organization. Okay, and how does your report define digital transformation? So, that's a great question because we did not define it for our clients. And mm. actually, uh, I think that uh, a lot of the differences we have in the groups between the business and the IT, how they view themselves as being more mature in digital transformation is exactly about how they define it. Mm. You know, and in, in utilities, we found out that the, they, they call digital transformation some ad hoc initiatives they might have already done. So if they have already a customer portal, they are doing analytics projects, they are de deploying some sensoring devices, and they are doing some more ITOT integration, they are already becoming digital organization. They are executing on digital transformation. And actually in the survey, 67% of our clients said, we are executing on digital transformation. But only 27% have a digital transformation strategy in place. That's okay. what our clients told us. So this, this means that they also understand they should have an enterprise-wide strategy to steer the cultural change and to have a view on where they are going, what they want to be in five to ten years, what this digital means for my business, but most of them don't have that in place. Yet they are executing something. Is it quite hard to come to that conclusion, to be kind of self-aware as a utility and say, well, this is what we need to do or where we should be going when they're so busy kind of being operational? True, true. And also because the, the challenge is huge. Mm. So how do you go about defining this enterprise-wide approach? You know, what elements do I need to incorporate? And we see utilities already having a number of these elements. They are recruiting uh, more new people with the digital capabilities. They have already uh, an uh, innovation as a, a key element of their strategy. They might have already some digital technologies uh, in the roadmap, but there are still some missing elements mm -hmm. and they don't have a coherent way of putting all these elements together in, in a way that looks at the shareholder value, the business outcomes, what kind of new business models, the new value propositions, who is my customer in the future? Mm. It might not be the same today. Yeah. So perhaps then we can pick your brains a little bit about the best way to approach developing such a strategy. Well, we, we, we do think that utilities, first of all, need to change the way they think about the consumer. Mm. Going around this fair, there is a lot of great stuff, right? Very little about to, uh, things about how to increase the cons consumer experience. A lot of experience. conversation about it though, that's what I've picked up on. Top priority in our survey, <laughs> but at the fair, mm. there isn't that much, right? So there is a disconnection between uh, uh, the two things. Okay, um, so, so understand the consumer would be the kind of first step. Well, you need to be customer centric. We all say that the digital age is the age of the consumer, right? So you need to have people that do understand 
what is customer centricity, that put customer at everything they think about, and that also that have a digital, uh, uh, a digital connection. They like the digital, right? So that they can apply the digital technology together with the business and the customer centricity, and actually think about what am I, what, what am, am, am I going to be in the future? Mm. What new business models? What new consumers? So I'm quite a, a culture change. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, a lot about cultural change. Not so much technology which is usually the first focus of, of utilities, because that's what you can more easily grasp. It's more concrete. And uh, utilities are looking for, to optimize the business, you know, some quick wins on how to leverage technology and achieve that gains of efficiency. Too much concentration on technology and not so much on the consumer yet. So what are the traits of a utility that's successfully digitized and successfully engaged um, the customer and bring, brought them back to the center of their business. Right, so what we've done, as we asked our clients what they think their uh, digital maturity stage is, um, we, have, um, we, have, we, ha we have asked them about this matu digital maturity stage from one to 10, mm. and we have uh, grouped the, the responses in three groups, uh, the leaders, the followers, and the laggards. Right. Okay. And as we look at what are the followers telling us around uh, the industry trends, their priorities, what they're doing in digital transformation and so forth, uh, what we have seen, uh, first of all, is a big difference in regions. Hmm. As a start, North America sees themselves much more as a leader than Europe. Two thirds of respondents from North America say they are leaders in digital transformation. Okay. That's the perception of themselves. Exactly, that's okay. what they tell us. Also, what they tell us is that the, um, the IT sees themselves much less of a leader than their business peers in the company. And actually, all across the board, 70% of the respondents from the business side see themselves as leaders, mm -hmm. while only 35% of the IT thinks the same way. So it looks like there is a, a disalignment between what the business and the IT mm. think about digital transformation. We go back to what this digital transformation really is, yeah. how I go about uh, doing it, and um, how are I going to plan and, 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 and strategize for it. And it, it goes back to the fact that thinking too much about technology, right? Looking for the optimization quick wins. So they are missing this digital uh, transformation uh, strategy-wide mm. approach that they need to do. And actually, you know, uh, uh, this is essential to steer the cultural change we're talking about. Yeah. For 72% of our respondents, that's the major challenge for transformation. So Anna, we spoke about the um, culture change needed within a utility to, to kind of be a leader. What about the culture and the kind of human capital perspective? What are those leaders doing differently to the others? Yeah, that's really interesting. They are doing so many different things from the other groups, the followers and, and the laggards. So as a start, um, we, we, they, they, responded, they, they responded that they are hiring directly their IT staff, not leaving it to HR or to other external agencies. So the IT leaders think that they need to hire the right people, they're doing it themselves. They also have knowledge measurement uh, measurements in place, much, much more than the followers and the laggards do. And altogether, it's uh, delivering a lower um, uh, uh, turnover of, of staff. So we asked them, what is your turnover of staff? And mm. the leaders told us they have much higher and lower percentages than the other groups do. Uh, another important finding is that they have a much more outside in thinking. They have a much higher percentage of hiring, of, of contracting uh, IT uh, resources outside of their organization. And this is in, uh, in recognition that in order for them to accelerate the learning journey of their own internal organization, they need to see outside what are the best practices, new ways of working, okay. new delivery models. They need to bring, they need to adopt innovation at a much faster pace. And just as Apple did, 
you know, they recognize mm. that there are a lot of creative people, a lot of innovation outside their organization that they need to bring in. So a way to do that is to enlarge the, 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 um, the, the IT staff they have by contracting more outside, by having more partnerships, and, and, and through that accelerating their cultural transformation as well. Thank you, Anna, for those insights. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Um, you can watch more of the videos from European Utility Week on our YouTube channel. Um, thanks for watching.